Thank you very much for inviting uh, uh, Hong Kong Metropolitan University to be uh, to to be in this event. Uh, this is Xi Mei. I'm the director of the Mainland and International Affairs Office of Hong Kong Metropolitan University. Uh, this uh, today, I'm going to introduce the international uh, the our undergraduate program for the international students. Uh, about the Hong Kong Metropolitan University. Uh, first of all, let's say, uh, why do we want to study in Hong Kong? In Hong Kong? <clears throat> uh, for example, Hong Kong is uh, one of the most important cities in the world. Uh, I think no matter where you're from, you will say uh, there are some big cities in China and one of those must be in Hong Kong. So it is in the Southeast of China, and uh, it is a special place and uh, um, which which is very unique in its uh, as a city it is different from most of the places in china and uh, the most places in the world for example hong kong is a city that is uh, we have a very mixed culture and uh, languages for example hong kong is the place where the east meets west that is, in this city, you could find the Western culture as well as traditional Chinese culture. And, uh, and uh, besides that, as well as the uh, Malaysia and the Southeast Asia culture. So it is a very diversi diversified city. And uh, the official language in Hong Kong is Chinese and English. And the English is as important as in Chinese. Um, almost all the people in Hong Kong can speak some English, even uh, some, you know, taxi driver, the uh, waiter and waitress in the restaurant, they can also speak some simple English. So if, even if you only speak English, you can still survive here. And uh, for this city, I think it's charming about its business. It is the financial and business center in Asia and uh, as well as in the world. So it is the uh, international financial trade and shipping center. Uh, in this city, you, you, you would say how small it is. It is not a big city. It is only has uh, about 7 million people. And, uh, even in the you know in the area the business area the CBD area you see so many uh, high rise buildings but in this there is about nine thousand foreign companies in there so which means you have lots of work or uh, you have lots of work opportunities in here uh, after you uh, graduation you can easily find a job either in financial sector or as well in the computer sector or even other uh, marketing design and uh, those lots of companies in a lot of companies they have offices even though their headquarters is in us or in europe but they have uh, they have offices and uh, subsidiaries in hong kong so which means this is the city with lots of opportunities that's all the young people are looking for and as for the high education level, uh, in this small city, Hong Kong, we have about 20 universities. And, uh, uh, and the HKMU, Hong Kong Metropolitan University, is one of them. And so in this place, we could say that it is uh, for the prosperous job market, Hong Kong ranks the seventh worldwide for the employer city activity. And also for the best student city, it ranks like 12th. And uh, besides all this exciting news, Hong Kong also has a, a special visa scheme for the uh, students who study in Hong Kong and from outside Hong Kong. And uh, so, which means if you are uh, no matter where you're from, from the uh, other uh, China or the other international uh, countries, and uh, you will have 20 months stay after graduation, which means after you get a bachelor degree in Hong Kong, you can stay here for 20 months and looking for a job, looking for some uh, good opportunities in Hong Kong. So this is where this amazing city is. You could say the Western and uh, modern, you will say the uh, Eastern and the tradition. 
And uh, let's then, then let's talk about Hong Kong Metropolitan University. Hong Kong Metropolitan University may sound like a, a little bit um, um, new to you because uh, we are has been Hong Kong uh, Open University of Hong Kong for a long time. So this university starts from 1989 and it has uh, several milestones of the well it's in its development. For example, in 1989, it is the third university in Hong Kong that can give bachelor degrees. And uh, in 2007, Hong Kong is one of the university joined the JUPAS, that is, uh, uh, you know, the uh, joint undergraduate program admission system of Hong Kong. So only nine universities joined it. And uh, in 2000 and uh, um, 14, we have a very new campus, and uh, in 20, 2012, uh, in 2021, we are retitled as a new name of the Hong Kong Metropolitan University. So this university has been transformed from a small community university to a very comprehensive university, offers a lot of programs, undergraduate program, master program, even PhD program. So that number shows how important this uh, university is and how, how developed it is. For example, if we could say how many schools in this university, we have seven schools. And uh, also we have about 12,000 students in this university. And uh, we have uh, lots of um, 100, uh, 130 million uh, research funds for this university. And in the library, we have a traditional library for you to, to study, to look for the hard copy books, as well as a lot of uh, uh, multimedia database and journals and uh, multimedia resources for you to study and to take research. As for the campus facility, uh, Hong Kong Metropolitan University located in the Kowloon area, which is the center of, the, uh, of this big city. But which doesn't mean we are we are small as uh, area wise. Which but that doesn't mean we do not have enough facilities for the students. We even though we are very small, we have a lots of uh, um, spaces and facilities for our students to enjoy campus life. For example, we have a very big library, and in the library, instead of like an old traditional book collection, we study, we ex developed a lot of study area, discussion room, self study room, and uh, always a small breakout room for you to study and to uh, to stay there. For example, we ha uh, even though we do not have a very really large sports ground, but we have a lot of uh, uh, indoor facilities like a yoga room, like um, a gym and a, a ping pong ball room, a lot of uh, uh, stadium for, for you to have a, a match and a games, uh, inter-university inter games. On. And so for all this facility, we will enrich you to either have a, enjoy your campus life and study here. And uh, besides that, we have a, a a lot of uh, off-campus accommodations and uh, this other, you know, like a horse hostel or dorm and uh, which are very convenient for you to, st to stay and to enjoy your campus life. As for the program wise, I think, you know, the most important thing for you to get to the university is to lay a solid foundation for your future career which is the number one goal of why we are entered into university. Uh, HKMU, Hong Kong Metropolitan University, offers a lot of choices for in this area. For example, we have a lot of signature program here, which means which are, which means they are new program and they just uh, cater the need of the society. And uh, all this, all of our all of our programs has been recognized by a lot of professional bodies. For example, our accounting program has been recognized by many uh, accounting uh, society. For example, we are 
we have uh, we are a certified program for the accounting society of Hong Kong, and uh, as well as in ACCA. For example, if you graduate from HKMU and uh, you will be waived nine course, which is half of the courses of ACCA, uh, which uh, which is a big deal for a lot of students in um, in the accounting area. And also our accounting program has been recognized in the Australia CPA uh, SAPA system. So in this way, if you are accounting, if you study accountant in Hong Kong, you can practice as accountant in many areas of the world, even all over the world. Uh, that is only one example. Besides that, we also have been, you know, our engineering program has been re recognized by the Hong Kong Institute of Engineers. So which means our programs are highly recognized by the professional bodies and uh, also means we are, our students are very employable after graduation. Um, besides, you know, uh, to make sure our students are very employable, that is, which means they will have a start a career after graduation, we have been doing a lot of work on that. For example, our but we have a current strong connection with the, all the industries. Uh, with the industry, it doesn't mean we sign uh, several, um, we send students only to the industry for internship or for study. But when we design our curriculum, we already consult the ideas and the opinions from industry. Uh, what what do you think is this element in this um, in this development of this industry? And we will uh, incorporate it several several developing areas in the in, in our course or in our program. And uh, meanwhile, while the students are study, we will send a lot of uh, uh, we will give a lot of career service for our students. We offer them a lot of internships to study and uh, to work in the industry to see how this develops and how this goes. Um, besides the program, our research is also one of the signature in our university. And, uh, but our research does not mean we are doing a lot of cutting edge research in, the, in, uh, in this area, but we all do this for the applied research. And this applied research will benefit the society in a very short term, as well as we will benefit our students to fit in this area and to fit in this industry in their few, in their near, uh, earlier career uh, in their earlier careerhood. So, for example, we have uh, seven of this research institute. And uh, the, this research institute often gave a lot of like seminars, workshops, which are open, are all open for our students to learn how this goes. Uh, meanwhile, in this, in some of these research uh, labs, uh, research institute, our students can work as an RA. So they do not only, only uh, acquire some uh, academic ability, but as well as the research methodologies in this area in their earlier years. And the Hong Kong Metropolitan University is a university with is a student center university that has a lot of things are driven by the student development. That which means career uh, student development is one of our most important goals uh, in developing in developing our university as well as our goals um, to achieve. Uh, for, for, our, for our students' uh, uh, achievement. For example, when the students enter into the university, we will set up a lot of uh, rules and a lot of goals and a lot of pathways for them. For example, if the students are really, really keen to research, are really keen to uh, pursue postgraduate program, we will uh, find him, maybe uh, set him into some research topic. And then we will try to mentor him and trying to uh, make let him to make some entrepreneurship and all they have some uh, big invention, big ideas, how to train them to the entrepreneur spirit. 
and for the students who wants to you know have a, a taste who have experience some internship some uh, industries we will have offered them over 6000 internship and practicum and uh, pre uh, practicum every year and uh, also we have a uh, a lot of students who have a global vision to enrich our students with a global vision. And so each year we will send about 1,000 students on different exchange tours per year. And this exchange tours may study, may include like a, a study tours, like a, a culture, culture tours, culture experience tours, like a, um, a credit program, or uh, service learning, or uh, um, other kind of uh, uh, exchange tours, depending mm -hmm. on where they go and what kind of the university they are, re are receiving them. And besides, to, in, to uh, nurture our students to be really professionals, we encourage all the students to join all the local, national, and over even overseas competition. For example, our business students, they joined a lot of competitions like a business case competition, a taxation debate competition, and they won a lot of um, a lot of uh, prizes in this area. Our science and technology students, they went to uh, all of uh, like engineering design, invention, all these kind of computations, and they got a lot of uh, uh, prizes as well. For so our creative media arts students, uh, one of their, one of their uh, graduate design has been awarded to the Golden Horse Award for the short movie program, which is really amazing for that. Besides that, we will offer, we will connect it to a lot of our alumni and uh, a lot of people in the, who are already success, uh, who are already successful in their business and uh, to serve as a mentor for our students. And also we have a lot of uh, career talks, career expos every year. To make our students more presentable and uh, they have a, Hard to serve the community. We are. We are. We also offer a lot of uh, uh, some service learning program. For example, during the COVID time, we send our students to help the young kids who stay who who have to stay at home because of the lockdown, and uh, to help the uh, elder house for the students to you know to work with them uh, because of the lockdowns. And for the sports and wellness program, we have a lot of sports and activities all around, all year round. And for the career and entrepreneurship, we also have a lot of activities for the students who can gain from this. So, and the next topic, we are talking about what kind of programs we, we do have at our HKMU. We have seven schools, but only the top four schools will offer undergraduate program for the international students. And I will say them uh, one by one. First school is the art and social science school. This schools are, offer a wide range of programs. And uh, there we have some creative arts program. For example, this are we have four creative arts program, which are not really traditional art program. They are the uh, per art programs uh, together with the animation, with the media, and with the digital ways to how to reflect them. So we have the animation and visual art, creative advertising and media design, creative writing and film arts, image design, and digital art. So all this are using a very modern way to reflect the art effect. And we also have a studio for this. And besides of the Golden Horse, I have a Golden Horse Award I have mentioned before, our, all of our students from the creative art area won a lot of prizes. For example, the one of the photographer, they won the National Geography uh, pho photograph second prize and also a lot of local prices for the video, film, and uh, 
uh, animation. Besides that, they also have the social science part, uh, psychology and social science, uh, uh, like a global study, and uh, which are pretty popular among our students. Besides this, they also have the humanity and the translation program, which are also uh, very, very new to, uh, to our uh, program. And uh, also we have science and technology program, which they have uh, a lot of uh, uh, offer a variety of electronic engineering, computer science, uh, applied science. And I also want to mention about the business program, which covers most of the areas in the business, like traditional ones in the accounting and management, and also the very new one, like FinTech, aviation, sports, and esports program. We also have education and the language program. So as for the fees and uh, um, uh, and the cost in this university, they are roughly like this, but this sounds a little bit high, but I will talk about the scholarships followed by this. So we offer three kinds of scholarships, top award, second award, and third award scholarships for the, all the international students depend on their entry, uh, entry scores and uh, the interview performance, we will award all these scholarships for them. And uh, as for the general entrance requirement, we could say we accept, accept IB program, CGCE program, uh, Canadian uh, qualifications or any other qualifications in the from the world, we just need has to be evaluate them one by one. And also we have some English uh, level uh, requirement, which are, I think it's pretty much the same with other universities. So all the important dates we will talk about is how to apply. So apply system has been on right now until the end of May. And uh, the in, uh, between this, you will apply for this, for our university, we will consider your admission as well as a scholarship simultaneously. So you don't have to uh, file a scholarship uh, application. And this are uh, our contact information. I highly recommend it. If you have any question, you just uh, drop us an email at this and uh, we will get back to you very shortly. So uh, that is basically all my sharings today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Xue Mei, for the 20 minutes presentation about Hong Kong Metropolitan University.